Hello, in this video we are going to cover the presentation side of drawing a triangle. So this is just the first part of the presentation side. We are going to be looking at the window surface which we will use to draw the triangle or anything to and that that is what will interact with our GLFW window. So first of all make sure you have the source code from the previous video and then you're good to go. So what we're going to do is first of all do a new include, so hash include set, this is just a data container that we will be using later on. Next what we want to do is go to the Q family indices struct and we need to add a, another one of these. And do -do -do -do. Put one signed in. To, yeah, we can rename that to one signed in. Int. That's fine as well. Again, they both mean the same thing. I prefer on sign in. Sometimes you might see what u int three two underscore t. It's the same thing. Uh, pres present family. So the pre the family of presentation devices. Because not all things devices that you pick up will actually be able to present. You know content so just gotta bear that in mind okay so here we'll just do a little double and a check with this so present family dot has value has value and okay so we're all good to go over here and next what we're going to do now is if we scroll down in here we need to add a few new stuff so we can actually get rid of this let me get rid of anything that says start and end because this was just meant to be for you know previous previous you know people who are looking at the source code and figuring you know what's new and what's not because sometimes it's really hard to tell when there's a bunch of new code so i you know afforded this little technique where i'll just basically comment around the new set of code forgot to remove it okay so we were looking at the the init window where are we where are we yeah so just above that we need to add a couple of new variables so the first one is going to be a vk surface khr i'm going to call this underscore surface and then we're going to create a queue and this is the presentation queue present queue semicolon okay so now in the init vulcan method after we set up the debug messenger but before we pick a physical device we need to create the surface or call the create surface method and to do that we just do this we'll actually be implementing that very soon now scroll down to clean up and before we destroy the instance we need to just clean up the surface to do that put vk destroy surface khr you need to provide the instance that's the vulcan instance uh, i don't know what I must put an extra parenthesis there underscore surface and you can put a call back i'm going to put no pointer so we gain an error Okay, that's strange. Let's go back up here. Uh, see what's wrong. VK uh, VK surface KHR. My bad. And if we go down to clean up. Okay, so that has disappeared. So like I was saying, important that you destroy the instance because the instance is required to clean up the surface. And if you've destroyed it, you won't be able to properly do it. You'll get on for seeing you know errors or circumstances in your application so you know make sure you do it in the correct order so now if we scroll down so just before we're going to do pick physical device we're going to put the create surface method here we put void create surface and we're just going to say if we're going to create it in line and this will return true or false if gfw create window surface and we provide the Vulkan instance we provide the GFW window it's annoying that I keep doing that 
and then any callback so we're just gonna put no pointer but again as i said before if you know what you're doing there and you want to have a callback feel free to put it there now we actually have a surface so we're going to put a reference to the surface and we are going to say if this isn't equal to success vulcan success that is then we'll throw an error throw std colon colon run time error and we'll just throw an error like file to create a window surface okay so now if we scroll down to create logical device and this vk create info we're essentially going to be getting rid of that we'll be moving around part of it but i think it's easier just to get rid of it so what we're going to do is have a graphics and we're going to have some cues so for the graphics and the presentation so we're going to say std colon colon vector vk device create no vk device q create info q create infos and we're gonna have an std column column set unsigned int unique q families equals indices dot graphic family dot value indices dot present family dot value there we go okay so now where we do this you know q create info because it's a vector now we're going to need to loop over it and do it for each little instance in the vector so to do that we just do for unsigned int q family in unique q families and for vk device q create info q create info remember you need to put curly braces here not parentheses as i have done before and that can cause issues q create info dot s type equals vk underscore structure underscore type underscore device underscore q underscore create info now q create info dot q family index equals the q family again we've already done most of this and we're just putting it within here and the q count will equal one q create info dot tq priorities equals a reference to the q priority and we're going to say q create info dot push back and we'll push back this q create info that we've created okay so now that we've done that and we want to scroll down a little bit Scroll down. So after the create info and this, we want to essentially get rid of these two things. We want to put create info dot q create info count equals a static cast to unsigned int. Put some parentheses q create info dot size. And then we're going to say create info dot pq create info equals q create info dot data. Again, pretty similar to what we've already done with a, sl a few slight tweaks. And now, just at the end of this method, just need another one of these. So I'm going to copy and paste this. And the only change will be we'll put present value, so the presentation value and the present queue as well so we are getting there we're almost done so if we scroll down to the find queue families now 
we just need to make a, you know, we need to add a bit into here. So just before this is complete method gets checked. And just after this, we are literally going to check if the presentation is supported. So I'm going to say VK bool 32 present support equals false. And then we'll say VK get physical device, no, physical device surface support KHR. And we provide the device that was passed in, then I, then the surface, and then a reference to the present support. Okay, so almost done here. We need to check if present support is correct. I mean, if it's supported, if you can, um, what, what this is checking is if presentation, so drawing to the surface is supported on this device. And then we're gonna say indices, the present family equals i. So what I noticed was in one of my previous source codes, for some reason, I this wasn't in there. So just make sure you add this in there. Uh, you know, I'm I've resolved it now. I'm pretty sure I have, but just in case, just make sure that is there as well, because that can cause issues. If that isn't there and part of that we're ready to go so if we give it a run okay still moaning let's have a look uh, what he's moaning about okay uh, let's give it another run Okay, there we go. We get no errors. As long as you get no errors about the surface, then you are good to go. And that is it. So that is the window surface stuff set up. In the next video, we'll be looking at swap chains. And really, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. There's over 4,500 members on there now in there there's also a channel for vulcan so feel free to post there the link in the description to the github page where all the source code including working versions of all of these videos can be downloaded literally the project you can just download it and run it. you don't even have to just, you know, set it up in visual studio for example so you're all good to go so yeah i look forward to seeing you in the next vulcan video bye bye